Yes, so I'm very passionate about hiring good uh, devs and I think the best way to hire a good developer is to actually see them code. It's uh, the, the best analogy I can think of is like you don't ask a musician to give you a certificate that they can play play a guitar. You actually ask them to play the guitar. So at Seven Digital we've been using pair programming interviews to hire really passionate developers. So I want to share this with everyone else and get um, sp spread the knowledge on how to do that. Hi, uh, I am Alexander. I am consultant at Fatworks. Uh, I'm Dimitri. I'm from EPUM Systems UK. Hello, I'm Anton Kutko from EPUM Systems UK. And um, you've been doing some uh, pair programming interviews, is that correct? Uh, yes. Who's, who's been interviewing who here? I was the interviewer. Okay. And, and who were you interviewing? Dimitri was my candidate. I was a candidate coding and listening to the notes and uh, find the suggestions. Um, yeah, and uh, I'm also... Paul oh, Barrett. I'm Sam Marshall. I'm a developer at Sandex in Nottingham. I'm Gemma Cameron. I'm a senior dev at Late Rooms in Manchester. And you've been doing the checkout kata. What is the checkout kata? Uh, it's a simple kata involving a uh, supermarket checkout, I suppose. I wouldn't say it was simple. The, the great thing about the checkout kata is that it's, it's got enough complexity to allow some really nice refractions and some nice objects and stuff to learn. Yeah, it's funny because we're all saying we've all seen this kata done it a, a whole number of times, and you still get mileage out there. There's still a whole load of different things we see every time we visit it. <laughs> So Pathfinder Peril is, the aim of the session is to teach people a little bit about a algorithm that they may not have considered to be that important to them because they don't work in something like games or something like that, whereas actually we've shown that pathfinding is applicable to any problem that involves a graph in computer science, which is you know, many, many problems in computer science. And uh, in order to illustrate that, we've created a little robot tournament based off Matt Wynn's robot tournament engine, which allows them to submit robots to try and find their way through a maze and, and pay tournaments against other robots to see who does the best. So that's what the session's about. Steve, could you talk us through, um, could we take a look at the leaderboard? Yes. See how people are doing. So, uh, players have been submitting their, their robots, and so far I think most people are um, winning games because other people are running into uh, other robots. What does that what does that countdown sound mean? That countdown sound means the current round is about to finish, so you need to get your uh, game deployed or your, your robot deployed, ready to play the next round. Yeah, so I'm Tim McKinnon. I'm Jason Ayres. Um, what's the uh, what's the session you're working on? It's called Pathfinder. Yes. And basically, we have to write some code that takes a map that runs on a server, and we have to come up with an algorithm to work our way through that map. So we had some presentations this morning about different strategies like Dijkstra's algorithm for how to find shortest routes and where you've got to implement that in code and upload it to a server. Yes, you can. It's a session about generating the branch sequences and it's uh, actually an exercise in test-driven development and trying to generate sequences with a certain aspect that are interested to mathematicians. Right, so I was Getting wrong. I thought the substrain was starting point. Yeah, yeah. yeah because that zero throws you off. That zero that you see. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, do, we the do we need another test? Do we need another test for this? I think we do at least need 
Um, at least one more test, although maybe it's not quite GDD. But, um, Hi, my name is Peter Canfield. And this is Shri. Uh, what is it you guys are working on? We're looking at the uh, how to generate drawing sequences, which is uh, quite good fun. Slightly um, mathematical, but um, yeah, having good fun so far. Yeah. My name's uh, Mike Hill. I'm a software developer. Uh, I have helped to know this person. My name's Steve Freeman. I'm another software developer. So what are you guys working on in this session? Uh, we are working on the generating some De Bruyne sequences, um, which uh, I barely know. Uh, have been introduced to in the last uh, five minutes. A whole five minutes? That's yeah. longer than me. And I uh, still don't really understand them. But uh, uh, as a software developer, I just want to get my hands programming and yes. not worry about understanding any of this rubbish like requirements. Yeah, one bother. Yeah. So that's what we're doing. And, we, and of course, the first block is to actually get the development environment working, which is probably the bulk of the session for us. Yeah, shaving the axe. So given. So then it just does this feel so the idea is to uh, to code up an Enigma machine, which is the the uh, Second World War uh, encryption and decryption gadget, and we're doing it in Bletchley Park, where Fritz managed to decode the real thing at the time. And we had a demo of a real one. So that's really good. Yeah. So for the first time ever, we we usually give this demonstration on a whiteboard, which is rather hard. And today, for the first time, we had the real machine and the real rotors. And actually, that prototype made it a lot easier for the people to understand the working. So it was nice. Everybody was rather excited. Yeah. Hi there, I'm Frank Lemos. I'm a software developer from the Netherlands. Hi there, I'm Gonzalo. I'm a software developer as well. I'm something from zero. So what's the, uh, what's the session that we're doing at the moment? Well, we're doing a very special Enigma session. Uh, we're here at Blessing Park, obviously, but there's a lot of Enigma machines uh, running around. And uh, we're uh, working on a sort of a, first of, we have a paper copy here, and now we're trying to create a digital copy of, of the Enigma machine. We have our, uh, paper rotors here, and we're moving these around and trying to get the mappings. We can work with vectors and trying try to test drive an implementation of the, of the Enigma machine. Hi, I'm Sandeep Taylor. I'm Tom Mortimer Jones. And the session you're in is um, the butterfly flaps his wings. What's that all about? Um, it's ostensibly about um, how the starting conditions of TDD uh, affect how uh, different paths of um, test people write affect their, their product outcome. Um, but it's basically about making an Enigma machine. Yeah, cool. Yeah. Sorry. Okay, so uh, next is Hi, I'm Rob Purcell. I work at UBS. Um, so many, I'm, I'm Vincent. I also work for UBS. Um. And you're doing the Team Dojo. That's correct, yes. So yeah. what's that all about then? Well, we've been um, doing a bit of XML file processing. We haven't really got into the uh, the really complicated stuff yet. We've got quite a limited, quite a small team, so we've kind of been focusing on trying to get something working, doing a bit of test-driven development, and uh, having a bit of fun, really. Hey, my name is uh, Darren Mazingo. I'm a developer at 7 Digital. Hi, uh, I'm Paul Shannon. I'm also a developer at 7 Digital. And you're working on the Team Dojo. Do you have a, do you have a name for your team? Uh, well, it started off as, as ProNet, and then we realised everyone's going to call it ProNet, so we've been called Awesome ProNet. Cool. Yeah, this is Daryl's idea. This is very much the 7 Digital way. Uh, yes. Can't just be digital, we've got to be 7 Digital. Oh, yes. That's a, awesome 7 Yeah, 7 so that we're top of the list. Alphabetically. <laughs>
And how are you finding it? Um, we found that we got bogged down in shaving yaks and doing configuration and getting the tests running in Team City when really we should have been writing some code. Um, which I think we do anyway. I think, do, I think anyway. we spent a little too much time on the infrastructure, you know, trying to get deployments, tests, all that running. Yeah, um, but now we've actually got into test driving the algorithm, it's a lot more moving along a little bit. Yeah, it seems like it's going somewhere. Nice. And I quite like the problem to solve as well. It's yeah. just an uh, interesting algorithm to do. And it's quite a good use use case as well, I think. Which use case are you working on? Uh, we're doing the... Um, Calculating the uh, kudos, yes. the, the page rank of the developers.